guys, Kelly here. Hopefully you can hear me through the mask. Um, I am out and about for the first time in quite some time. And um, things here in Merida are starting to open again. And you guys know that I love my fabric. So um, I'm actually out to go into the fabric store um, because I've got requests for um, masks and I need more fabric and I need more elastic. So um, I noticed that the barber shop is open. Um, it looks like the drive through at Burger King, which I think has always been open, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, you know, definitely there's a lot more cars out today in the parking lot than have been in months past. And, but everyone is still keeping their distance. As you'll notice here, they still have the ground marked with the exits to uh, let you know how far back to stay from one another and we're gonna go in and you're gonna see that um, they're gonna give me a squirt of I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be looking a squirt of uh, sanitizer and um, and they only let so many people in the store at a time so hopefully you guys can hear me and let's uh, go into the store okay so I'm having to remain outside for right now um, because they've got too many people in the store and so um, once they get one person come out then I can go in and then she's gonna take my temperature she's gonna give me a squirt of the hand sanitizer and then I have to actually clean the bottoms of my shoes so very much so keeping our distance still here in Merida so they only allow a certain number of people into the store as i mentioned and uh again everyone here pretty much is complying we don't have the people that are angry over having to wear the masks um, everyone is doing their part if you will Ooh, i gotta stop y'all y'all know i get winded when i'm walking and talking but uh everyone is pretty much doing their part and things are starting to open up again so it's kind of nice to be able to get out to something other than the grocery store or the pharmacy. Hey guys, so this is, um, I'm out at a restaurant, like human beings. Oh wait, and, and we could take these off in our little, as long as we're at our table. Um, so we are doing wine and dinner, and so we're getting, he said not to touch the wine yet. So it is, um, I think, four courses. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, and there's different wines that we're going to be trying. And it was, um, there was a reservation required. And people are socially distanced, so they can only take so many people. So the restaurant is pretty much close to empty. Hang on a check and I'll show you. And so as you can see, there's not very really many um, in the restaurant. And here's my little table here. B-roll. <laughs> uh, and so, this is my first time out in a civilization uh, like normal people since COVID. The, the first uh, plate that we are going to enjoy is a carpaccio, the meat carpaccio. And the wine that we are going to take is uh, from South Africa. Even though the company that uh, makes it, that produces it, is Mexican, the concept, the wine mouth concept, is, is completely Mexican. And it's a kind of a sweet wine. And the idea is to make you experiment something real different as, as a carpaccio with a, a wine that is a little bit sweet. And as well, the fourth dish that we are going to have is uh, it's, it's also going to be with this elephant and of course that is uh, a dessert hope you enjoy it uh, it's, uh, the carpaccio has um, truff truffles and um, olive oil mm, something else that i made so hope you enjoy it okay now see the color of the wine check the aromas and tell me what uh, what is it that you are that that is bringing to your memory Hey guys, Kelly here. So um, I am sharing yet again another opportunity for me to go out to dinner. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me. As you can see, I'm prepared with my mask and I am waiting for my Uber to arrive and I have a 5 p.m. reservation. And here, you have to make reservations at even like very casual dining spots because everything has to be properly socially distanced. So they put a lot of space between you and the next people that are going to be there. While you're in the restaurant, you can take your masks off. Obviously, that's how you're gonna eat and drink, but the servers are still required to wear their face guards, their masks, and the whole nine yards. Um, <clears throat> also, um, they have restrictive hours. So places that are usually open until you know midnight or whatever, they're now closing at eight, and I believe nine is the latest. So I will share with you guys uh, tonight's dinner, just a little bit of it, and I uh, hope that you guys are staying safe and doing what you must do to protect your health. I'll see you shortly. No, like All right, guys, so no. my friends and I are out to have some dinner, and we have the run of the joint. Hi. Hey! Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we are at an Italian restaurant, and again, we're talking about... Louis. Hola, Louis. Como esta? Hola, Louis. Adelante. Gracias. Um, and so we are here alone, basically. And then we're going to sit and have dinner at this beautiful establishment. <laughs> All right. And uh, it's kind of cool. All right, so this is what going out to eat uh, during Corona looks like. All right, guys, I'm getting windy, so let me stop. <laughs> 